Northeast Living's Holiday Wishes, presented by Dunkin' Donuts. Hello everyone and welcome to another Holiday Wishes edition of Northeast Living. I'm Mar Jennings and this is Violet Van Schnorkenheimer. Christmas is almost upon us and if you're like me, you're probably looking for some great gifts, well, that perhaps maybe just keep on giving beyond the holiday season. Well, let me show you some ideas that I have for just that. Let's start with something personalized or even monogrammed. I always find anything with someone's name on it or initial is definitely one of those gifts that will continue to give on. Today, there are many websites that allow you the opportunity to personalize just about anything. Here, I've done my favorite TV show. Nothing says winter in a wonderful and enjoyable way than winter white flowers. This simple arrangement can be created you want to keep in mind that your vessel should also be white for that cohesive overall design. These are white hyacinths that are so fragrant, or you can do roses and tulips. There's no better gift to give than something that's lush and green and it's long lasting, such as a plant. Here, this frosty fern is a perfect representation of winter, but it also gives you that sneak peek into spring as well. Speaking of spring, who doesn't love the amaryllis bulb? Now this is a holiday flower and what's so wonderful about this is that you can do it two ways. You can plant it in soil or do what I've done here. I put it in a glass vessel and filled it with water just touching the base of the bulb. I have rocks below to secure the roots to grow into it. Now you want to make sure that the water doesn't become stinky and you do that by putting a little bit of bleach inside the water. This will continue to bloom and when it does, it lasts for about six to eight weeks from the time it starts to the time that it's spent with all these beautiful flowers. These all make fantastic and unique gifts because you made it their own. Happy Holidays! It's the most wonderful time of the year and the holiday spirits are brewing at Dunkin' Donuts. Let's talk a little bit about what you're doing because there's a special promotion going on right now. For $199, you go online and you go to the Cubs for Connecticut Children's and .org, and for the entire year, you will get a medium-sized coffee for 99 cents. And that's all you have to, to pay is 99 cents for the whole year if you donate $199 for the cause. Well, that's a wonderful cause. So who wouldn't find their inner Santa cause to help out? So that's wonderful. So thank you for that. Let's talk about other promotions that you have right now. I look forward every year to that very special flavor that you introduce. What is it this year? Well, this year is peppermint mocha. And, you know, you can use it with your, you know, put it in, in your latte, your regular cup of coffee, you know, at any time. And, um, and actually, you know, for the holiday, we have this special with three pounds of coffee that you buy for regular price and you get one free. You even offer the K-Cups, which you can have your specialty coffee and you even offer the machine as well. We now have that, that machine that you can actually bring it home and into the office and you can brew your coffee on the, with using the K-Cups that we now have. And, and you can use it, you know, anytime. Make one, co one cup or you can make multi-cups. And, and you know, if you have a party and you have all these people in it, you, everyone can have, you know, a decaf or a regular or a hazelnut at the same time. So, it's a great, it's a great gift. Now, Manny, I love your gift cards because you can go on DunkinDonuts.com and you can even personalize it. You can put a pet's name, a family photo, you whatever. Can, you can do anything you want on it. You can put your picture or my picture. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. And uh, you can set it up where you can have $2 up to $100. And that's just a gift that keeps giving, right? Because Absolutely. you could put it in a stocking, colleagues at work, you, friends, you could, family. It's, it's a gift that fits all. I can't help but notice you have some beautiful gift baskets that are already wrapped. We make it in a certain way, but if you want to specialize it and make it your own, you just give us a little bit of time and we'll make it the way you like it. it what I like to say is Dunkin' Donuts is, is sort of like, uh, it's your Dunkin'. 
Everyone here in Middlebury, an example, this is their Dunkin'. It's not my Dunkin' Donuts. I just make sure that it runs the way it does. And you do that you better know, than anybody else. I try, I try. <laughs> Thank you so much, Manny. I had such a great time with uh, you today. You're welcome. I really had a good time. Thank you very much. So whether you shop online or in the store, find your Mary and so much more at Dunkin' Donuts. Most of us have heard about a hyperbaric chamber, especially if you're a scuba diver. And when we think of a hyperbaric chamber, we think of treating the bends for a scuba diver. But these chambers are used for more than just treating the bends. I'm here at Manchester Memorial with Dr. Ducart. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This is an impressive program. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, these chambers are part of our program and about 5% of our patients will use these chambers and they're used to heal chronic wounds patients with diabetes, patients that have chronic bone infections, patients that have radiation injury from uh, cancer treatments. And these are patients that need the hyperbaric chamber because they have problems with getting oxygen to their wounds. The ECHN Wound Center at Manchester Memorial Hospital has other methods of treating chronic wounds, such as debridement, bioengineered tissue substitutes, and platelet growth technologies. Every wound has its unique set of circumstances, and the team of doctors, nurses, and therapists here are all dedicated to help each and every patient. The hyperbaric chamber is just one more way to make their job easier. It heals wounds by providing oxygen to the wound itself. Most of these patients have problems with either blood flow into the wound or <clears throat> the environment of the wound doesn't allow the oxygen to cross barriers. So in diabetics, they have poor oxygen flow into the wound because they have problems with their very small arteries. And these arteries can't be bypassed, so you can't get the blood flow you need to heal the wound. And with the hyperbarics, it gets extra oxygen into the blood and into the plasma itself to provide healing for the wound. The first hyperbaric oxygen chamber was invented in 1662 in Britain, and in 1940s they started using the chamber to treat decompression sickness in scuba divers. Today the chamber is used for so much more. We heal approximately 92% of our wounds in 16 weeks. And it looks comfortable because as he's watching the TV, that's pretty nice. That's right, then he gets to pick the program he wants to watch or the music that he wants to listen to without having to worry about group decisions. Well, our program here at Manchester started in 2009, and um, it's an outpatient program. If you're take, getting wound care, you're usually here for about an hour. And if you need to use a chamber, you're here for about two hours. If you know somebody who could benefit from the wound healing program here at Manchester Memorial Hospital, visit their website at echn.org. We'll be right back to Northeast Living's Holiday Wishes, presented by Dunkin' Donuts, Cloder Farms, and Aldi. Welcome back to Northeast Living's Holiday Wishes, presented by Dunkin' Donuts, Cloder Farms, and Aldi. I love getting tons of holiday cards and I cherish each and every one of them. But come the new year, what do you do with all these great cards? Well, I like to find and discover brand new ways to repurpose and use them. Let me show you a couple of clever ideas. I proudly enjoy going through all my cards and finding different things that I like about the card. Now, you don't need to use the entire card. Here's a perfect example. I'm taking the corner where this tree is and I'm just simply cutting it out with some picking shears. What I'll do is once it's cut out, I'll punch a hole just like this, put a little raffia, and now I have a great gift tag. When you find a card that has a great picture, well that's perfect to create a postcard. It's real simple. What you want to look for is a card that doesn't have any writing on the back side. That's perfect for this project. Then once again, you're going to take a pair of scissors. Here I've used my pinking shears and I've cut just the entire border of the card. Now on the back, I'm going to address it, put a stamp on it, because the mailman will mail anything as long as it has the proper postage on it, and reuse it. Some cards have bonus cards just waiting to be discovered. Here's a perfect example. This card has an insert. 
So you simply remove the insert and voila, you have a brand new card that you can use. Now to create an envelope for this, take a great stock paper and simply just fold it around the card. This is a perfect example of what I've done here. And all you need to do is put a fun sticker, address it, and you're good to go. Every part of the card can be repurposed. You can do long strips such as I've done here and simply create a wonderful fun chain. This is a wonderful project to get the kids involved. And all you need is a stapler to secure. Put this on a children's Christmas tree or even embellish your entire tree with past Christmas cards of yesterday. But the absolutely best way to repurpose and reuse them is to enjoy them year after year. Simply punch a hole in the corner, put it through a ring binder, and put it out each and every year so everyone can enjoy those wonderful Christmas cards. Another great idea is simply take a wonderful satin ribbon and wrap them around. This is a great way to look back at a time capsule of all the happy memories. Talk about such a great collection of outdoor structures, and I can't believe it. This is the sister of my shed, of the one that you built for me, which I designed, and it's so nice to see it here. Yeah, it's an eight by eight manor villa with corbel brackets and the arc door. It's really a lovely building, and it's part of our display model sale, and we're right now, at the end of the season, selling all of our displays at pretty deep discounts, so it's a great time to come and look for buildings. And you not only build custom structures for outside, there's so much more, right? No, it's the holidays, and Clover Farms is a New England tradition. Wait until you see what we have in our store for you. I can't wait. Show me the way. Come on. It is like the North Pole here. It's so beautifully decorated. Thank you, Mar. Yeah, it's a New England tradition, our decorating at Clover Farms. We decorate for every holiday, and Christmas is definitely a featured holiday here. Well, I can definitely see that. Let's talk a little bit about this chair and the furnishings that you have here because it's just heirloom quality, Thank right? Thank you. This is our Frederick chair. It's made in cherry, and we custom build all of this furniture, including our Frederick collection and our Bedford stowaway table in whatever wood a customer is interested in. So oak, cherry, maple, dozens of different options on the wood. And this Bedford table in particular is a great set because it's a stowaway table. You can pull out this 18-inch leaf and it creates an expanded table for friends and family to come and entertain for the holidays. Which is perfect because you can go from four to eight very easily. You don't just make dining room furniture, but I also notice you have desk, you have islands, you have furniture for the bedroom, hutches, I mean, just about everything. We have furniture for every room in your home and you have to see our upholstered furniture. Well, let's go check it out. Todd, there's a huge selection of fabric when it comes to customizing your furniture. We have hundreds of fabric options, every different color, style, texture, and folks really like to go into the detail of the options so that they can make their sofas, their ottomans, their recliners um, match their home decor. And it's comfortable, huh? It's very comfortable. <laughs> I think so too. I love it. Now, share with us your tagline. Uh, it's Clover Farms, come see what we're building for you. And that's a sincere invitation coming from a family business that's been around for over 30 years. You smell carrots? The weather outside is getting frightful, but yet the birds outside are still so delightful. Don't you want to help them out during the long winter months? Well, go ahead and feed them because their food source right now is becoming so sparse. Whether you buy a bird feeder or you create one, I have a marvelously simple project that you can create. What you're going to need is a drill and a birch log. Now I have a variety here and the reason why I like to use birch is because it's very natural and organic and it blends in beautifully into the environment. You're going to need four cups of bird seed, a jar of peanut butter, a one and a half inch drill bit, and some smaller ones as well, some eye hooks, and some round dowels, which I've cut down to about two inches, which is perfect for the birds to perch on. Let me start by clearing off my table. You begin by drilling one and a half inch holes into your birch logs. 
You want to take it from one side, working your way down, and then alternating on the other side. You want to pre-drill a hole on top for your eye hook. This allows you to hang this from a tree in your garden. The last hole accommodates the round dowels, creating a wonderful perch for them. Now let's make their yummy treat. Let's take four cups of birdseed and put it into a bowl and one jar of peanut butter. And you're going to mix it all together into a really great pasty consistency. Once you have the right consistency, I like to put on some gloves. Now you want to create small little one inch balls. It'll be very easy to do. Now, taking your new bird feeder, you're going to take those individual balls and pop them right into each of the holes. And you're done. All you have to do now is find a nice secure branch that you can hang it on. Enjoy the winter months with your feathered friends not far away from the beauty of Mother Earth. It's great because you provide them plenty of food to enjoy for the season. Tis the season for some fun holiday parties. Now come one or come all. Either way, I'll be ready. But are you? Well, it's really easy when you know exactly where to go. Aldi, of course. How about if I show you some simple and delicious ideas for entertaining? It's easy, come on inside. Doesn't this look divine? Well, it doesn't get easier than this. All I've done is heated some items and brought things to room temperature. I have to thank Aldi for all these delicious treats. Now let me show you some great ways to bring it all together. Don't be a slave to the bar. Make things easy for yourself by preparing cocktails ahead of time and serving them in pitchers. That way you don't have to make individual drinks. My favorite professional entertaining tip is to always use white or glass serving platters or bowls for that truly professional look and feel. I also love to use cake stands to create focal point and interest when it comes to serving yummy treats. Here's another great idea. What's great for your Christmas tree holiday decor is perfect for your tablescape as well, creating a cohesive overall design. So if you're entertaining, be smart about it. All you ever need is Aldi, where low prices are always fresh. Shrimp anyone? I have plenty. There's no better time to switch and save with Aldi, where customers can get all holiday essentials for less. Everything from appetizers to main courses, side dishes, and even desserts, making holiday meals and family gatherings a success. We'll be right back to Northeast Living's Holiday Wishes, presented by Dunkin' Donuts, Cloder Farms, and Aldi. Welcome back to Northeast Living's Holiday Wishes, presented by Dunkin' Donuts, Cloder Farms, and Aldi. While Mars off having fun in the British Virgin Islands, I'm house sitting and keeping Violet company. Let's see what he's doing. During the winter, we often think about going away, and that's exactly what I did to the British Virgin Islands. The British Virgin Islands are just a quick plane ride from Connecticut. When you land, you will arrive on the island of Tortola, the largest island where there is just so much to see and do. The British Virgin Islands are known as nature's paradise, and with over 60 islands, they each have their own individual personality. Once you're here, I definitely encourage you to experience as many as possible. And of course, the best way to get there is by boat. Exploring the different islands is so much fun. Whether it's drinks on Joost Van Dyke, I feel better already, or a dip in a snorkel at Norman Island, it seems there's always another surprise waiting to be discovered. 
No doubt the breathtaking views are going to make you hungry. And when they do, well, you have to have a signature cocktail, a classic island dish, and pick up a souvenir to remember it all. Thank you. One thing I really enjoyed was the friendliness of everyone I met. BV Islanders tend to welcome people as family. We have a lot of repeat visitors who come time and time again because this is now their second home. I can't wait to go back because there's so much to explore that it's easy to run out of time. When you come to the British Virgin Islands, you have to allow for plenty of shopping. There's so many wonderful things to purchase here. Fun textiles, hats, jewelry, accessories, something for everyone. We are about making connections and we believe in long-term connections, quality connections, rather than just saying hi and leaving it there. So when we meet you, we're looking forward to seeing you again. The British Virgin Islands is the home of nature's little secrets. We've discovered a few, but now it's up to you to discover the rest. Learn more by checking out their website, bvitourism.com. And when you come, and I definitely recommend you have to come, please, Take me with you. Now that I'm back from the British Virgin Islands, I'm totally rested and ready for the new year. And Elaine, you're here, and thank you so much for taking care of my dog and my home. Not a problem. Me and Violet had a great time, and it's good to have you back right before the holidays. So let's talk a little bit about the new year, and New Year's Eve is a big deal. And what I like to do, and I learned this from my mom, is staying home, but really taking that experience and making it better. Start the evening by dressing up. Ask your guests to really put on something extremely special. Right, especially women. We love to feel elegant, so dressing up makes us feel good. And you got some good shoes on. Yes, That's so always extra credit. Love the shoes. <laughs> and set a table at least a week ahead of time. That allows everyone in your house to know that a special occasion is coming. And when it comes to the menu, this is a wonderful time because if you go out, it could be extremely expensive. So I like to divert sure. that money and do a really nice champagne, do some really great appetizers, and step up the main entree as well. I love to serve lobster on New Year's. And you can also have people that are coming over. A lot of times they're like, well, what can I bring? Can I make something? They can either do dessert, mm -hmm. and that way you can do the entree, or they could bring a bottle of something. That's always a great thing, because <laughs> then you have enough, you can do different drinks. Now, Elaine, I prefer to have an intimate dinner party. That way I can accommodate my guests to stay the night. That's a great idea, especially if you're going to have a couple cocktails. That way you don't have to worry about driving. And of course, who doesn't look beautiful in candlelight? So have plenty of candles. I agree, and it smells great too. So as we get ready to end 2011, what are you grateful for? I am grateful for, and as cheesy as it may sound, <laughs> my family, my friends, my colleagues, <laughs> and just overall, just good people. Well, that's very, very sweet. And you know, I'm so grateful that I do what I love each and every day, and I get to share it with you. So uh, in reference to everyone here at Northeast Living, the special edition of Holiday Wishes, Elaine, myself, and our entire team wants to wish you a very happy holiday and a great new year. Happy holidays. <laughs>